at Queen's Park, Doug Ford's progressive conservative government delivered this year's budget with good news on healthcare, jobs, roads, and Ontario's booming auto industry. We told them we would build more highways, and we are. Highway 14, 413, we said we would do it. We're building it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bradford Bypass, we said it, we would do it. We're going to do it. We're building it. The QEW Skyway, widening the 401 East through Durham, and the new Highway 7 in Kitchener. We said we would do all of them, and, Mr. Speaker, we are building them. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, we are also continuing to make large new investments in transit including increasing GO Transit service to Niagara from Union Station and bringing back the Northlander from Timmins to Toronto. And we're making progress on the Ontario line. We're also investing in new schools and childcare spaces and hospitals and long-term care homes. Our plan is to build new hospitals and expand the existing ones. It is a plan that is supporting a full continuum of care at Runnymede Healthcare Centre for first responders experiencing post-traumatic stress injury and other mental health challenges. And today we're making that additional investment of 9.6 million for this project to advance towards construction and accelerate it in the next round of approvals. It's also a plan to build a brand new hospital serving Mississauga and Brampton. Yeah, yeah. It's a plan, Mr. Speaker, to redevelop St. Mary's General and Grand Reservoir Hospitals in Kitchener Waterloo. Yeah. It's also a plan to build a new hospital in Uxbridge and a new one in Windsor. Yeah. It's a plan to build new schools and communities, including in Pickering, in Ottawa, and Atacokan. It's a plan. It's a plan to build, right across this province, safe and comfortable long-term care spaces in Cornwall, in Kitchener, and in North Bay, in Ajax, in Owen Sound, North Grenville, and right across this great province. We said we're going to build them, we're building them. Mr. Speaker, you might even say we're getting it done. And that's it for this week. Make sure to like and subscribe our page and sign up for our free email updates and stay in the know with what's happening in Conservative Canada.